Since the beginning of public education, there has been a disconnect between how schools teach and how students learn. So how do we bridge the gap between instruction and the learner? Is the answer to upgrade technology, such as an iPad, in the place of traditional textbooks? This is one of the most valuable habitats for your wildlife. We had the transition here between the woodlands and the floodplain grasslands. As we Is the answer a concept called flipped schools where students receive the instruction at home and then do the homework at school where they can get help? You need help? All right, so this is where I'm stuck. Well, show me what you've done so far. B, it's negative B. Or is the answer to provide more options or ways for students to meet their educational goals? Or is the answer something we haven't even thought of yet? My name is Elijah Trujillo. I'm a student at Bloomington High School. I'm an honor student and I do well in school, but I, like my peers, was raised in a world of video games, iPods, text messaging, Facebook, and YouTube. I prefer the visual to the auditory, the hands-on to the passive, and the fun to the boring. I'm a 21st century learner in a 20th century school. Right now, our superintendent, Mr. Almendarez, is proposing to bridge the gap between school and the 21st century learner. He is asking for your help. If you are interested in participating in a committee that explores this topic of how to get your school ready for the 21st century, please contact the following at your earliest convenience. Your help will be appreciated by all of us. Times have changed. Isn't it time for schools to change too? Please consider participating in this consortium. Uh.